roles of husband and wife. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Sorry. So kanina kinakausap ako ni Mike. Han, wag kang magsasalta pag roles ng husband ha. Sa wife ka lang. Kasi ko hindi. Bubugbugin ko yung mga husbands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sabi niya, tapos magsasalta ka sa wives? Yes! <laughs> okay, go ahead, yeah. Hal. Kasi sabi ko sa kanya, kasi ako, ako pa lang, bubugin ko na yung husband. Ngayon, kung dudugtun ka pa, kung, kung sasama ka pa, baka, baka batuhin na ako dito. <laughs> no, 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 hindi. Bubugbugin natin just ang kidding. pagmamahal. Yes, 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 that's true, that's true. Okay. Move okay. On. Um, so when we talk about roles, usually we have a reference, right? We look, we look at someone or something. Sino ba yung kagayahin natin? No? So for the roles of the husband and wife, who should be the role? Usually it's our parents, right? Because you see your father, how she treats your mother, right? Or kung wala kang father, yung kapitbahay mo, yung father ng kapitbahay mo, right? Or who... Uh, sorry. I think we can move here. Or your guardian. The, someone that is looking after you that you will try to imitate or try to uh, be that person no? when it comes to being a, becoming a husband. Okay. Some, some look to uh, their movies. Some look to telenovelas. No? Yung mga lodi nila. Yun ang gagayahin nila. But what does the Bible tell us? Who should be, who's the role model that we should be looking at? It's actually Jesus Christ. And He has lived a life that we should have lived. And He died the death that we should have died. Okay? So, how did He demonstrate in becoming a husband both roles of the husband and the wife? So, He led lovingly and sacrificially but he also submitted willingly. Okay? So, that uh, even though, if you, we know, we, we believe in the God the Father, Holy Spirit, and Jesus, right? We believe that they are one God. We believe that they are co-equal gods, right? There's no one above the other. But in this scenario, kay Jesus Christ, okay? When he was in Gethsemane, when he was praying, when, when, he, when it was about the time that he's going to be betrayed by Judas, he said, he was praying, he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible for you. Sorry, the verse is Mark chapter 14, verse 36. Abba, Father, all things are possible for you. Remove this cup from me. Yet not what I will, but what you will. Because being God, he knows what he is go, gonna go through because he knows the plan, their plan, that he is going to sacrifice himself. But he is also 100% man. So yung, yung, yung human nature niya is telling God the Father, baka pwedeng wag ko na lang pagdaanan because it's so difficult. If you know what, what we did to him, what the people did to him, right? Ako parang ako, hindi ko kaya. Every time I, every time I watch that, uh, okay, Lord. Okay? But even though they are co-equal, he submitted willingly. Okay? Okay. So just like, just like the roles of the husband and the wife are different, kanina pinag-usapan natin yun, binagin ni Pastor Arcel, they are also of equal importance. Right? So they are co-heirs. No one is above the other. Okay? But that doesn't mean that they have, husbands and wives have different roles. We have different roles. We are called to do different things. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we are not equal in importance. Okay? And it's important to understand that our roles as husband and the roles of the wives, they are a heart issue. It's a posture of our hearts in taking in our role. It's not our role to call out our spouse to tell them that this is your role. Okay? Kaya yung rules of engagement natin kanina, this is for you. 
So when we talk about the roles of husbands, dapat si husband ang nakikinig. And the wife doesn't have to tell the husband, oh, dapat ginagawa mo yan. Right? And likewise, when we are talking about the roles of the wives, husbands, we do not call, oh, dapat, dapat nagsasubmit ka. Because that's your role. Dapat you do that. No. You look at your own role. Okay? And you leave that role, you obey God, what God is telling you to do. You want to add something? Yeah, that's true. So Jesus is the role model of, of the leaders, which is the husbands, right? And you are called to imitate the relationship Jesus has with his bride, right? The church. So lead lovingly. Uh, sorry. Sorry to cut you, Hannah. Meron akong ano eh. Okay. Uh, I mentioned kanina na it's a heart issue, right? Can you, um, next verse please? Okay, so it says in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23, Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. So what does that mean? <clears throat> na kung ano yung ini-store mo sa heart mo, you are going to give life to it. So if you're, go if you're going to store uh, anger, you're going to store bitterness, you're going to store uh, hatred and irritation towards other people or to your spouse, just imagine what, it, what you are going to uh, come out of your life, right? Okay. So we are to be watchful, what we store in our hearts and what we believe in. Okay? Next slide, please. So, we're going to talk about the roles of the husband. Husbands! Tasang kamay. Husbands! We are the leader! Ahu! 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 Huh? Leader! Wow! So, as leader ba, we tell them what to do? <laughs> <laughs> do we tell do we decide on things no this is this is what we're going to do parang sabi ni Aaron kanina parang sabi ni Aaron kanina no do we do that as leaders no unfortunately not kasi ang model natin is si Jesus Christ and how did he lead he lead by serving he lead by being the last he led by washing the feet of these disciples. Yes. So it's actually the opposite of leading. Yes. Wow! Wala bang yes na sa likod. Alright. Okay. So uh, another role is... Uh, you want to add something? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, mamaya ka na, ha? <laughs> leader, Ma mamaya leader. ka na. This is a uh, husband thing. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we are also called to be the pastors in our home. Unfortunately. No, unfortunately for other men because other men are always passive. Most of the men that we uh, I've been talking to are actually just waiting. Okay, what do you want? Okay, we go to church. Okay. Oh, you pray. Okay. Right? Because we don't want arguments. Right? But we are called to be the pastor in our home. We should be the one bringing our family to church. Not the other way around. Diba usually, ang common na narinig ko, eh si daddy, minsan, sige, huwag mo na, invite natin yan. Balang araw, sasama yan. Balang araw, attend yan. Right? You, we should be the one leading prayers in our home. We are the ones who's supposed to be initiating. Oh, let's pray. We should be the one pointing our children and our wife to Jesus Christ. So that's our role. So when we say leader, next slide please. So anong klaseng leader? We are to lead lovingly. We've seen a lot of verses kanina, right? Uh, later on, we'll always look at that. No, We are to lead responsibly. We are to lead sacrificially and proactively. Saan ba ako? Sorry. Okay. So next slide, please. So it says in Colossians chapter 3, verses 19, Husbands, love your wives and do not harsh, do not be harsh with them. So, obvious, obvious love, right? It's one of our main reasons why we married our wife, right? Because we love them. And when you love them, it's not enough. You also cannot be harsh to them. Harsh in what way? Physically, emotionally, mentally. You are not to say even, uh, I mean, I always say to Weng, uh, I always to the people that we share to, 
every time, even though I'm right. She's saying this is white. I said, it's black. It, sasabi niya, no, it's white. It's sasabi ko black. Doesn't matter if I am right. If she gets hurt, if she cries, because I'm telling her, no, you're stupid. It's black. You're nonsense. You're, you're irrational. And if she cries, if that hurt her, I'm already wrong. Okay? So as a husband, let's make that kind of posture that ang all, ang, we always think about the welfare of our wives. Let us not be harsh with them. Yes. You want to add something? <laughs> louder the louder. Mamaya, pag pray natin yan. pag pray natin yan. Okay? Okay, okay. Nasa ba ako? Okay. So again, no? leadership, lead by lovingly. Okay? Uh, next verse, please. Okay. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 22. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. So being responsible husbands, we are to provide for our family and not just our own family. I think that's, I would say it's selfish to think just about our family alone. We are, we are also called to look after the next generations. We are, we are called to even look after the people outside our family. Because one of our purpose is actually to be channels of grace, of blessings, of mercy ni God. And we should allow that to occur by allowing the Holy Spirit to move through us. Okay? What we receive, it's not meant to stay within us. What we get, what we receive in this world, it's not meant to stay within our family. It's supposed to be flowing so that it will continuously uh, come in. C can you just imagine kung puno na yung hands nyo? And if you're not letting go, how can God bless you? Right? Yeah. And I guess uh, provision, or uh, you, you said providing, right, Han? Mm -hmm. It's not just about money. It's providing emotion in emotional areas, um, spiritual as well, right? And to lead lovingly is for husband to go all out in their love for their wives, exas Christ for the church, a love marked by giving, not getting, mm. right? And yeah, like leading the spiritual. Yeah, sacrificially. <laughs> no, let's let's move to the next uh, slide, please. So, kanina minasyon ko di ba lead lovingly, lead responsibly. And lead sacrificially. When we hear the word sacrifice, di ba? Parang, parang ang hirap-hirap, right? Ang hirap, sacrifice. So what does it really mean? It's actually not losing something. It's actually giving up for something even better. In return, you will, you will receive, you will reap a lot, a lot more than what you are losing. So there's a lot of stories in the Bible that demonstrates what sacrifice is. Okay. Yeah, can I add to that, Han? Yeah. yeah, like Pastor Sal mentioned kanina in Chan 316, right? God gave up His only Son. And also Christ giving up His life on the cross for us. And that's also how the husband leads. It's always giving up something. And that's something that you, you are saying valuable. It could be your pride, yeah. your ego. So God is telling us, oh, you guys, to give it up. Kung binavalue nyo yan, ano bang val mas valuable sa nyo? Yung wife nyo o yung pride nyo? Yeah. One example is, I will always choose to be happy than to be right. If I will choose to be right, I'm not gonna be happy. Right? That's true. Right? Right. Kaya right? masaya ka palagi. Yeah. I will choose to be happy than to be right. If I'm right and I'm not happy, what does that, what does that give me? So I will have to give and sacrifice yung pride to be the person that is right. Even if I'm wrong, just for you to be happy, but just for me to be happy, I'll, I'll, say, I'll agree to you. Okay? Good. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But the truth is that you have to trust God. Trust the Lord that He is also speaking to your spouse. If you know that you are right, and you know that your wife is your, your spouse is wrong, 
Trust the Lord that the Lord is speaking to her That's or to, to your spouse. Hindi lang naman ikaw siguro kinakausap ni Lord. Ang damot mo naman. Right? So trust the Lord that... that can, can I add? Yeah. Wala sa, hindi to kasama sa materials ko or sa notes ko. But I saw that in Mike. Hindi lang wives ang prayerful. Dapat husbands din. Mike has been so prayerful sa akin. He's been praying. Hindi naman ako, dun first, we've been married for 23 years, right? So I don't know when I started submitting to Mike, but at first, hindi naman. So at first, pinagpe-pray lang ako ni Mike. I never heard him calling out, hindi nagsasubmit na sa akin, o hindi ka nagsasubmit, paano ako maglilid? Never. In 23 years. But I know and I see, I've witnessed, I saw that he is praying for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> <looked> at me. <laughs> I was just gonna grab my seat, but uh, who here prays for their spouse? Okay, here's one effective way. And, but if you don't understand this right now, it's okay. Okay, but it could be a revelation that you want to research and probably ask about. Okay, so one of the most effective prayers is the prayer of the tongues. One of the most effective. Why? Because it's God's heavenly language. So a lot of times, the most effective way to pray for your spouse to change <laughs> without any arguments is when they are asleep. This is true. Okay, so what do you do? So while they're asleep, you lay your hands on... You're not my spouse. <laughs> you lay your hands. The laying on of hands, by the way, is very powerful. You lay your hands on your spouse. And it could be a known language, like you could ask for a prayer. I mean, ask the Father, right? Or the tongues, like if you can speak in tongues, because now it's God's prayer, Right? Now you come in agreement. So I come into agreement with you, Lord, with whatever plans you have for my spouse. And then you can speak in a language. And you keep on doing that over and over and over again. You will see a mirac miracles happen. We've seen marriages restored because of this one prayer. Agreed. This one style of praying. We have documented it. Okay? So. Does this help? This is practical. But if you don't understand what I just said, um, come to Wisdom Church of Manila. And we'll talk more about it, okay? Or maybe a request for a, a teaching on it, and we could actually post it in Now Faith Is. Now Faith Is, by the way, who's here has heard of Now Faith Is? No one has here heard of Now Faith Is. Now Faith Is. Now Faith Is is the ministry that we started before we started this church. So if you don't know Now Faith Is, you want to be invited, just let us know. We'll add you to this private uh, Facebook group, and that has actually a lot of teachings on this. That's right. Thank, Thank you, Pastor, Pastor Reese. Yeah, that, sorry, na tatawal ako kanina kasi I've been imagining I'm praying for Wang while she was sleeping and then she wakes up. Ako pinagpe-pray. What is it? What is God loves you. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> That's true. No, but sometimes I, I let her hear my prayers for her. So prayers for protection, for, uh, uh, for her well-being, for for blessings, for wisdom, we, I, I, I let her hear my prayers for her. Yeah. No? Yeah. I guess husband praying for their wives, also a provision. That's where it is. Yan yeah, yan. yeah. So, so pinagpe-pray ko lang siya ng tongues, nagtatongues lang ako pag nag-aaway kami. <laughs> so, so that she doesn't know what I'm praying for. <laughs> okay. Pag galit siya, so I, I'm, I'm praying in tongues. Okay. <laughs> So, provision is not just through finances, again, but also emotional, spiritual, and physical. So, protecting your wives, right? As husbands, we are you are called to be the protectors of your wives and children. God gave you those manly muscles for a reason, right? And also emotionally, protecting your wives emotionally. Protector ba kayo? O kayo yung unang saying harsh words, hurtful words? Yeah. Sa asawa nyo. I hope not. Yeah. So right? I'd like to add to that, no? So again, as husbands, actually, it goes both for the spouses that we are supposed to be the source of joy and happiness ng spouse natin. So that's what we are supposed to be giving. But it does not stop there. Kasi while, we're, we're being, while we are being the source of her happiness, we can also be the source of her pain, right? We can be a source of her annoyance, irritations, right? 
So, dapat hindi din. So, two things yon. We have to be in a posture of being the source of her happiness or joy. And we should not be the source of her pain. So, two things, okay? So, nagbibigay ka ng joy and you are not giving pain As well. to your yes. spouse. Okay. Yes. So, husband, take the lead. Sometimes, sabi sa study, hindi daw ang cause ng separation, hindi daw infidelity, mm -hmm. hindi daw money, hindi trust issue, but being passive. Wala ka lang gagawin. Diba? Wala ka lang gagawin, pwede pala masira yung marriage. At madaming cases like That's that. That's true. So, uh, husband, take the lead. Take the initiative. And leader leadership is not just being in charge of all things. Leadership is just over, kahit overseeing. You know what's happening in the areas of your finances, kahit na si wife yung nagmamanage. You know what's happening in your children, kahit si mommy yung nag-aalaga. Right. right? Pero yung iba kasi, dahil nagwo-work na, o oh, basta... Bigay na lang ako ng bigay. Ikaw na yan. Right. So it's easy. Like for example, no, sa amin, in our case, uh, because she's the one who's good in managing uh, fin finances. So I just let her handle the finances. Naging passive na ako because it's easier for me. Wala na akong inaalala. When my salary comes in, I give it to her. Siya na bahala. I will just work. Parang ang dali-dali, di ba? Right? Ang dali. But unfortunately, hindi ganun ang calling sa ating husbands. We should be on top of things. And right now, so kahit siya, siya na yung nag-manage ng, ng, ng finances namin, uh, later I think uh, uh, Pastor Riz will, will dwell on this. You know, whenever, whenever she's going to spend something, when, whenever she asks for she has the money. What's hers is hers, what's mine is hers. <laughs> okay? Whenever she's going to spend, she will always ask me. Or and you then, ask me. Yeah, and then I ask her back, para saan yan? We're talking about 200 pesos. Han, pa-transfer na 200 pesos. Ah, Han, we need to pay 300 pesos. We need one. Oh, para saan yan? But, hang on. Yeah. But before, he will not ask. Kasi okay lang naman. He trusts me with that area. But because he's not taking leadership really seriously, okay lang, bahala ka na dyan. Busy ako. Mga bata, bahala ka dyan. But now... Yeah. So ngayon, so that's what we're doing now. I, I'm, I'm being on top of everything. I have to know where the finances are going. I have to know how she's budgeting it. No? I mean, pag tinignan mo yun, parang, oh, parang uh, asikasuhin ko pa papati, pati yan. Ang dami ko nang iniisip. But that's your role. Yes, but that's our role. Okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. so I was going to say something about sacrifice by Ed. Yep, okay. Um, okay. Move on to wives, you're good, Han. Uh, we need to lead, we are called to lead proactively. Yeah. Next, next uh, slide, please. Next slide, skip that. Oh. Um, can you move? Next slide, please. Sige, next slide. Sorry. Ah, okay. So, yeah, we'll just move on. Okay, sige. Um, yung, when, when the husband is called to live proactively, not passive, uh, uh, sino dito sa tingin nyo yung may kasalanan during yung the fall of man? Who do you think was the... Adam, Adam. May, may magsasabi ba si Ivang may kasalanan? Takot kayo, no? <laughs> takot kayo. <laughs> takot kayo magsabi si Ibang may kasalanan kasi si Ibang kumain. Siya nagpakain kay, Ed kay Adam, di ba? But it was really Adam's fault. Right? Because Adam was passive. When the, when the, when the snake, when the deceiver was speaking to Eve, hmm. where do you think Adam was? He was there. He was right there. He was just watching. And knowing that he was the leader. Ito talaga si Adam, no? Sarap paluin, eh, no? Siya yung leader. And he just let the, the snake talk to Eve. And si Eve naman, sumusunod kasi nadideceive na siya. And then, uh, to the point that Eve asked him to eat the fruit. And then, he, which he did. And then, eto na. Nagalit na si Lord. Naghanap, hinanap silang ni Lord. So, uh, Adam, where are you? 
were hiding. And then when, nung nakita siya, guess what? Ano sinabi ni Adam? Eh, yung babaeng binigay mo sa akin eh. Nagturo pa. And he was the one who, you know, he was the one who named Eve. He was the one who gave the name to Eve. But he called her, the woman you gave me, made me eat the fruit. So let's not, so I think we should learn from that. Okay? We should learn from that mistake. We are not called to be passive. We are called to be proactive because we are the leaders. We have to be the one modeling what our family should be doing. Mm -hmm. We should be the first one always. Okay? Good. Want to add anything? We're good. Okay. So we're moving on to the roles. Hindi pag pag ba hindi naman, di ba? Sakto lang. Yeah. Roles of the wives. Yeah, okay. Next slide. Roles of the wife. <laughs> okay. Husband, leader, pastor of the house. Wife, helpmate. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wife as it. the helpmate. What? <laughs> <laughs> huh? huh? Wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, help me. Yeah. So when God created man, he stepped back and said, it's not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Babasahin ko to ng maayos na maayos para maintindihan natin to. Wives, okay? So the Hebrew word translated helper that is used for a woman is Ezer. It is derived from the Hebrew word use of God and the Holy Spirit. Both mean helper. One who comes alongside to aid, assist, or, re or rescue. It is good. It is use of God or Yahweh as the helper of his people. So kung may nababasa tayo, my God is my helper. That's Ezra. And the same word, Hebrew word, that used in Genesis 2.18. Clearly, the word Ezra holds a place of great honor. It is a portrait of great strength. Right? Taas na nga ulit mga kami ng mga wives. Yun. So ikaw yun. You have a place of great honor and portrait of a great strength. Okay, with so many references to God as our helper, it is obvious that an Ezra is in no way inferior to the one who receives help. This is important because this is the word that God used in 2.18. When he says about Adam, it is, it is not good for man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Therefore, the man and the woman, the husband and the wife, have been designed by God to stand together and help each other fight the battles of life. And God is there as their divine answer to fight with them. So you may be wearing dusters sa bahay nyo, naglo-laundry kayo, nagwawalis lang kayo, or maybe nasa corporate kayo na nakasteleto. No, you are a mighty warrior. As answer, as helper. Okay? Yun ang roles nyo, wives. Tayo, right. yun ang roles natin. We're not inferior. Okay. Sige, we're gonna ask lang a few more minutes lang kasi... Yeah, so as divine, as defined... <laughs> sige, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. sorry We're gonna need more time. Uh, sige, if you have anything to say, uh, let me just move to the next okay. slide. So the wife is called to be a helpmate. Okay, in Genesis chapter 2, verse 18. Then the Lord God said, it is not good. We mentioned it anyway, no? Uh, next, next verse, please. Okay. Wives, sub, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22. Wives, submit to your own husbands. Doon lang kayo sa husband niyo magsasubmit, okay? Kung kaya niyo, kung kaya niyo. Pero dapat, dapat, nagsasubmit kayo to your own husbands, okay? So the wife as a helpmate is called to submit to your own husbands. As a helper, you have to submit willingly, okay? And next, okay? Ano yung isasabihin niyo sa husband niyo? Everything. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 24, Now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit in something? Everything. Everything. You wanna talk about this? Yeah. So pag andito na sa point na to, no, ang hirap na, kasi your own husband submit in everything, hindi partial, in all, right? Paano, sabi nga dito, pag andito na, mga tanong na dito, yeah. paano magsasubmit kung hindi nag-delead? Yeah. So, babalik yun. Ate no? Weng, paano yun? 
Ang sagot ko naman, baka hindi naglilid kasi hindi nagsasubmit. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, but I truly believe that our husbands wants to lead or they are leading. We just don't see it because we wanted it in our own timeline, in our own facing, in our own ways. Yeah. Di ba? Didikta natin. Yeah. So, nabigit ni Weng yun, no, about going back sa leadership ni husband. Before we can be leaders, we have to be followers, by the way. And we have to be followers of Christ. Okay. So it's hard for them to lead. We don't give them the chance to lead and allowance and room to, to make mistakes and learn. So wife, wives often mis, uh, find submission discouraging because they view it as a means of, for their husband to hold them down and control them. Lalo ngayon, usong-usong empowered, independent woman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Pero ako, laging sinasabi sa'yo, I am pabebe, submissive wife. <laughs> okay. Okay. Expound daw. <laughs> ah, pabebe ako pala. Pasit ako kay Mike. And then sabi. <laughs> okay. okay. So when you submit everything, ang, ang challenge sa wife is, paano naman nga ka namin? Kasi yung husband, kung yung husband is hindi ka submit-submit, yeah, but that's how God designed it. Yeah, so, so when we abandon God's design, this mm-hmm. function happens. And remember, there's always blessing in obedience. We just need to obey. We don't need to understand. So kahit hindi ka submit-submit ang husband? Ano yung criteria ng kasubmit-submit na husband? <laughs> you have to submit. Yung nga, hindi siya naglilid. So will you submit? Yes. Wow, lakas ah. Okay. Period. Period, no? In, in? Everything. Everything. Okay. Yeah. So I truly believe submission is not a um, leadership issue. Yes. It's our heart issue. They can, pabayaan mo sila, wag mag-lead, just do your part. That's your role. That's your job. Okay? So remember that the wife gets to submit and the husband gets to die. That's the, di ba yun yung sinabi kanina? Husbands get to die. Christ, husband, just like Christ, died on the cross yeah. for, their chur- for the church. For the church. That's true, that's true. Right? So, wives submit. So, we get to submit. Wives, husband gets to die. So, you wanna switch roles? Ah, gusto niyo pa ba mag-switch lang ano, ng roles niyo? That's a, okay na. <laughs> that's a very high calling ng mga husbands natin. Now, if you tell me, Hindi niya ginagawa yung calling niya. Ang tanong ko naman, ginagawa mo ba ang calling mo? You are has your you are you. your husband's answer. <laughs> right? We are created by God to help our husband to fulfill their calling as leaders of our family. Bringing out the best in our husband, not their worst. Yeah, so Yeah, so na mention niyo no, it goes both ways. Okay? So, no matter what our wives do to us, we are called to love them. Period. Period. For the, for us, the wives are called to submit. Period. So, as long as you keep on doing and fulfilling your roles, you are obeying God and let God work in your mm-hmm. marriage. Okay? Yeah. So a wife brings respect to her husband. Honor him where you want him to be, not where he is he is at right now. Pwede, tama, kaya ba yun? I-honor natin sila kung saan natin sila makita, gusto makita, right? Okay. Okay. So we, the wives are called to, 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 to be a helpmate, a submissive helpmate, a supportive helpmate. Binanggit mo supportive helpmate. Can you... Can you Move to the next slide, please. Supportive helpmate uh, in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 24. Ah, yun na pala yun na, sorry. Uh, and uh, Proverbs 18, 22. So, Wang mentioned, no? He who finds a good, he who finds wife, finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. And I like this every time she says this, no? Now, she looks at herself as a favor from the Lord. To the husband, to me. So that every time she's going through something or she's in a situation, she asks herself, nagiging favor ba ako, Lord? Yeah, if favor. I'm giving you yeah. a hard time. Yeah. 
Yeah, so there are times, and sometimes, <laughs> I'm giving Mike a hard time, so I'm praying that, Lord, I'm, I am your favor for Mike, right? So make me, be, make me that one for Mike. That I'll be that one for Kay Mike. Yeah, that's good. Okay. okay. So we're moving on to the next one. We're, I think yeah. we're done with the we're roles. Done, we're done with the roles. Yep. So we're now going to jump into a more sensitive topic. That's why I see Pastor Riz will be talking about this. 